Okay, I have this new um, app that I made for the Arduino that basically uh, you upload it to the Arduino and it automatically programs your Bluetooth device. You don't have to fart around with the baud rates or anything else like that. It takes care of all that for you. It automatically detects the current baud rate of the device and will set it to whatever baud rate you want. And I'll do a little demonstration here for you and I think you'll realize that this is probably a lot easier than the way you have done it before or if you haven't done it before. Mm -hmm. This is a very slick way of doing it. A lot less painful. You don't need a separate adapter and you can use the uh, use the Bluetooth adapter on uh, the Serial 2. Uh, pretty soon I'll make it so it works on more in Serial 2 but for now Serial 2 is in the same way you'd use it in your Ramps Electronics if you wanted to make your printer run wirelessly with Bluetooth. Okay, so first up, you, you load the sketch, and then uh, you uh, run the serial monitor. Uh, it needs to be at 57,600 uh, baud, and uh, down here you need to uh, uh, set it so that there's uh, no line ending. Uh, that's the way it will work right. Uh, it says a, a little bit about that right up here. But anyway, now when we're ready to go, we click Yes because it asks us if we're ready to program. Yep. And there it gives us, uh, not maybe clear in the camera, I, I can't tell through the viewfinder, but this is basically a diagram of the chip and where to put the pin, so you don't need to have anything but your computer to be able to, to know what pins to set up. Once you set that up, you click Yes again. Alright, now we're into the programming, and it's First, right now, it's detecting the baud rate of the device. It's going to come back and it's going to tell me that I've set it to... I've already set this a couple times, so... Let's see if I can uh, focus in down there. Alright, it says 1152 is set. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, go up here to the top. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the baud rate just to show you. Right, and it gives me the option, the different options. I'm going to go make it number uh, 6, which is 38400. Go ahead and click 6 and wait a couple seconds and you'll see that it automatically changed the baud rate for me. Uh, at least according to this, but it's actually changed the baud rate on the device. Uh, this is a little bit buggy sometimes, but it looks like it's working now uh, where you'll where it will go through and you'll have to go through it again, but it changes it. Um, I think I might have fixed the bug I had in it, but it definitely changes the baud rate. Uh, all right, device baud rate is 38400, Bluetooth module. All right, let's go ahead and change this back to what it was, which is 1115. So let's go ahead and menu options of 1. Alright, let's go ahead and change it back to 8, which is 1115200. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of thinking. There we go. It's checking the baud rates. It's no longer 38.4. Let's see when it gets to uh, 1115. Yep, it found it. Uh, so that's easy to change the baud rate now. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change the the uh, the name of the device, which is two. So right now uh, I have it uh, have it named Cool, and we're going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to click two. Let's go here. I'm going to click two. And which is rename device send. Uh, this is to rename device after that it can be up to 20 characters, blah blah blah. And I'm going to change this to uh, ramps. Board. Go ahead and uh, send that. Uh, and you got to wait four or five seconds. Device setup complete. Um, okay, now let's go over here, and uh, we're looking for this cool, let me uh, refresh, 
takes a little bit sometimes. Definitely changed. Let me uh, go here. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it's changed. It just takes a little bit of time. But it was already uh, changed, and that's talking to the Bluetooth device that we're working on right now. Uh, but we don't have the password set, so now we go back over here and um, we look at our commands. focus that a little bit better. Okay, we've got our commands and let's go ahead and go uh, option three here and go uh, send and it's going to ask us for a password and let's make it one, two, three, four. I just entered one, two, three, four up top. Click send. Okay, and it is it set the password. Yeah, so this this isn't very complicated, but this uh, this uh, Bluetooth magic, uh, this Arduino code will automatically make your life a lot better. Yeah, so automatically set the password on this, and I go here, and uh, I think I'll have to remove this device to because uh, it doesn't have the. Uh, let me go. Windows, the Bluetooth dongles aren't the uh, slickest thing uh, once you remove or add a device, but uh, you know, it doesn't always detect when you have lost your pairing. Okay, there we go. Go next. And remember, we made the password 1234. Enter uh, the device pairing code 1234. And uh, now we're paired. Anyway, that was uh, that was basically it. Um, uh, the Bluetooth device is now programmed. All I did was load the Arduino code onto the uh, ramps board, follow the instructions to hook up this Bluetooth cable, and uh, then ran the serial monitor at 57.6 baud and set it to no line ending. Let me, let me go down here. Uh, there's a couple options you can choose when you're working the serial monitor. Uh, set it to no line ending and 57600 baud uh, and uh, it will run and it will work really well and make your life a lot easier. So setup instructions go from complicated uh, uh, 10 or 12 pages go from complicated uh, uh, 10 or 12 pages uh, of instructions and uh, extra serial adapters and extra code to just this anyway hope you enjoy it it's going to be posted on Rep or Apps website and on Thingiverse I'll put the links below uh, software is free to use it should ease and simplify your setup of Bluetooth device